good on everyone welcome back to another warzone mobile video it is of course a slap you guys already know what the vibes are so i've uploaded two warzone mobile videos one of the release date one of the top 10 things you should know about it and you guys absolutely loved it and smashed it those videos so in the previous video you guys asked me for another topic and that is what devices will warzone mobile be able to run in first things first shout out to motor blast for the gameplay in the background much love gamer and from there let's go to begin with this is the leakers on duty these are like the number one kind of leakers in the card community right now you have the apple and android minimum requirements and the least recommended requirements so obviously if you have the minimum requirements you'll obviously be able to run warzone mobile with 60 fps and above so ladies and gents if you have the minimum requirements that means that that is the least like that you must have at least to play obviously warzone mobile they've also recommended some other devices as well which is like a version above of what they've recommended so if you have that you're definitely on track to at least having 60 fps good graphics and just run the game smoothly same with android you know it's the exact same thing if you see your device in the screen you'll more than likely be able to play warzone mobile easily but if you don't see it on the screen you'll probably be able to play it and access it however you'll probably be lagging quite a lot make sure you guys keep listening because i will be providing you the actual devices that you'll be able to play you know these are just the specs if you're somebody like me that doesn't understand specs you're not a technology freak like these guys you know i got you with the easy wording second screenshot shout out to madman for this this is kind of also another kind of leaky page so if you see it on the screen here's a second like backup second source of all the requirements that you need minimum requirements the recommended requirements it's all right there and third source guys once again it is also similar you got the ios right here on the screen but now ladies and gents let's go through the actual devices none of us are spec nerds but ladies and gents if you have an android what you will need at least if you're using snapdragon you will at least need a google pixel 4a android or a samsung galaxy m51 poco x2 an oppo rhino 2 and some other samsung's that you'll need to have for the memory requirement is a samsung galaxy s21 s21 plus and s21 ultra if you have any of those i've just mentioned guys you will be able to run warzone mobile smoothly easily if i haven't mentioned your device just now for the android version of the minimum requirement you probably will not be able to run in 60 fps and at least recommended version for obviously at least being able to run the game even if it's with 30 fps 45 on android is a galaxy s20 s20 plus s20 ultra one plus a one plus pro xiaomi 10 iq3 if you guys have a xiaomi poco m3 pro a Viva y 55s a Viva y 76 a redmi note 10t or a samsung a22 you'll also be able to run warzone mobile at least and of course if you have the samsung s22 s22 plus s22 ultra you're more than more than more than comfortable to at least be able to run it smoothly on 90 fps if they have it and for apple devices all the freaks out there like me that use ios you will need at least an ipad from the sixth or seventh generation at least if you have a phone a mobile phone you'll need at least an iphone 7 or a 7 plus that is really really old and it's still going to be able to run warzone mobile with 60 fps and no issues of course there will be overheating for all of these devices that i've just mentioned every game overheats unfortunately so that's why you guys become a true gamer like me and buy a fan the least recommended version to run a game smoothly, of course, in 60 FPS is an iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. If you have an iPhone 10 as well, that will obviously add up because all those devices I've just mentioned will have no issue running these games. However, it will be overheating as always. Ladies and gents, just yesterday or a few days ago, whenever you're watching this video, one of my actors that, you know, I used to idolize as a kid, obviously if you know him from harry potter known as hagrid also known as robbie himself in real life he has passed away you know he was a childhood hero for me and i thought i'd obviously mention it in my video because i want to do a little you know tribute to him to pay my respects because it's quite unfortunate you know i've seen this person more than i've seen my dad himself and to me he was actually a hero definitely somebody that i felt really comfortable you know growing up and watching quite upsetting that it has happened but that is life ladies and gents you know it's always just a reminder and a reality check that you should always you know cherish for the good things in life and may Robbie Coltrane race in peace, guys. We love you, man. We do. But that's it, ladies and gents, man. A little random, I know. But thank you guys so much for watching today's Wars and More video. Obviously, the devices have been kind of confirmed and of course just put it out there if you can run pubg mobile cod mobile and apex legends mobile you will 100 be able to run wars and mobile but with that being said the guys thank you so much for watching let's get someone here to 100k please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and it was sort of helpful comment down below what we should do next 